start a YouTube channel. They said it would be fun. Well, here we go. This is uh, my first stream. And this is not financial advice. Only for educational purposes only. So yeah, this is my first stream. <coughs> I really uh, don't know what I'm doing. So with that, let's uh, let's go ahead and get into it. And let me let me tell you why I bought Litcoin at 170. All right. So, really, I was just reading price. I was just reading price. As, um, man, as, as we, as we, you know, I really didn't notice anything until we broke this right here and we shot all the way up here and I was like, oh my, we shot up here to $240, we were sitting here and I was like, man. If we pull back to 170, I'll buy. And how I got that prediction is because, like, um, this leg right here, this leg was, um, this leg was, this leg was an impulse leg for me. Why? Because it broke previous structure high. Um, and this was my new low. So, so the way I got 170 was um, I pulled my Fibonacci from here to here. My low at 112. And my new high at 140. And I said if we pull back here to 170, I'll buy it. And I was able to pick up a few few coins, me me and my brother. Um, but yeah, this was my impulse, like because it broke previous structure high. The sixty one point eight Fibonacci level allowed me to get a minimum of a risk to, of a one to one. One to one. Right. All right, guys, and a few of you that's been following me, I want to show you how I got 330, and why I told y'all we were shooting for 330. Since this was my new low, and this was my new high, I pulled my Fibonacci expansion tool from here to here and back in. That gave me the 127, the 1414, the 1414, and the 1618 extension up here. And uh, let me line this up right. I thought it was 330, 328. Thought it was 3:30. Maybe it is if I pull from here, which is the main low. Yeah, 3:31. But I just went with 3:30. Seemed like a solid number. Um, now you can use either either one of these. I just as long as you either equal measure measure. I just wanted to get in early, so I used this one. If we're just a few pips off here. This is the main low because this is the lowest of the lows. This is what breaks it. All right. So I said, I said the one six one eight extension because uh, 
and a little cotton mouth. And a lot of nervous. But I think I can provide a little bit of value. I'd like to be able to provide a little bit of value. So, I shot for that. I shot for that. I did not take profit here at, at 3.30. I thought hard about it. I wanted to. I thought it was the best... You know, and I, and I, I might have should have. We, we're still in it. We don't, we, we're still in it. We, anything can happen from here. Litcoin could fall here. Could fall here. Anything can happen here. So let's just try to keep open mind with all this. So now since price is uh let's just remove our everything let's just remove everything i like i like removing everything often so now like if this was our our um So now this is our old high. This is our new low. This is our new high. This high closes above this high. Does that make sense? So now we have a new, we have a new impulse leg right everybody following along so this impulse leg right here is the same as this one make sense so i kind of i mean if if we think price is going to fall from 330 like where would it fall to where would give us the next best risk to reward opportunity Right? So, this is kind of why I, I didn't sell, but, so, like, excuse me, this is, bear with me, so, this is our, Fibonacci expansion tool from here to here because this was our old impulse leg and this is where we shot to three now we're getting 335 I thought I didn't shot about 330 I don't know I think it's something like that we'll make it sad anyway all right so, where would be our next, our next trade on Litcoin, in my opinion, would be here, right? The next trade would be from here. Now, I was looking at this, and I was telling everybody, like, this right here this leg that breaks this pull your I, I was pulling from here to here I, I was thinking about trying to get in early <coughs> you know um price is not always I mean it and it looks like everybody else was trying to buy right here two at three at 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 uh two thirty. This is where I, I told uh where I thought we'd fall to is two thirty, two forty. Um you know, it's just a lucky 
kind of a lucky guess. It don't always happen like that, but did that time. Uh, start a YouTube channel. It'll be fun, right? Look, if you and if you're if you made it this far, please like, subscribe. Let's try to build this up. We need a hundred thousand people here. Two hundred thousand. We maybe we can get more free information to more people and we get we can just keep this going. Teach other people what to look for, what I look for. Um Hey. So, so the next trade, in my opinion, would be, let's just remove everything and start all over again, because it can never hurt. I, I, all I use is candlesticks, right? There's no movement averages, there's no RSI, there's no... <sighs> Anyways. So, the next next trade, in my opinion, would be if this is the impulse leg, the next opportunity to buy would be the 1618 extension right here. This right here would give us me anybody looking at this trade would be this would give me a minimum of a one to one risk to reward this is why price went here this is why I believe we held here <coughs> this is a new high here I mean this is a a lower high here um, yeah All right see how trading is so simple this is our lower high this is our new high this high closes above this one this is the impulse leg in my opinion yes you can use this one I wanted to get in early, so I would use this one. As long as your risk and as long as your risk management profile is great, you should be fine. Um, which mine's not great. I'm not good at it. Start a YouTube channel. Reading a chart is um, different than um, trading an account. Two totally different things. So yeah. All right. So everybody wants to know where where we Litecoin could go. So if we was looking for an extension up, we would grab our our Fibonacci extension tool. We would use, we would click here, the new high from the impulse leg, and then back down. Take profit one would be where a retest to a high. Take profit two would be the 127. Take profit three would be 440. It also lines up with um, this number here I like. I don't know. It's all just a guess. But yeah, I'm not taking profit here. 
I'm not taking profit here. I think Litcoin can keep, can keep as long as Litcoin keeps making new highs, pulling back down. You know, I think the hard part is going to be um, if this was to take off, it's not going to pull back. Had that trouble the other day. Hey, and with that, with that, let's let's dive on into that one real quick. I sh a little bit of that. So yeah, let's go ahead and delete everything. Bear with me. This is my first one. We're on the daily chart here, and we see this thing is just shot to the moon. It is looks to be so bullish at the moment. Um, as this is shooting up, like everybody was asking me, where, 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 where should they buy? You know, you know, I don't always have the answers. I'm not, I don't always have them. So yeah. With that being said, I was like down here on the four hour, and and I seen this right here. I seen this, and I seen this, and this breaks this high, right? I pulled my Fibonacci from right here. To right here and I was like this right here would give you a one-to-one -one risk profile right right if we're looking for extensions up we would grab our Fibonacci extension, we pull from here to here, back down, we would look for the 127, the 1618. Right? Same thing. And since I'm going to show you this, show you I'm not just blowing smoke, I'll figure out how to work this. Maybe this for Doge. Right. So this is a little channel here. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah. I'm trying to just kind of help people. Here's Neo. Said if it pulls to, six, pulls to uh, 60, it could be a good trade. And we know what that did. Right? Let's check it out. We can see it didn't pull back for crap. It didn't pull back for nothing. We put in a new high. Oh no, that's the wrong one. So the price was here and I was like, if we pull back to 61.8, we could buy. Neo is extremely bullish right now. I, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Like, but if we wanted to get down on a lower time frame, we wanted to get in. We could, you could look at it like this. I'm not buying Neo, but this is what I would look for. So yeah, this would be the high.
this would be the low this would be the impulse leg right so we would pull from here to here and we would say if price pulls back down to the 61.8 then we could look for a retest of the high then we could get our stops below the low with this move now do we does this say sell neo no no this does not say sell neo so yeah if price kept going higher and it, and it just kept putting in a new high and it put in a new high way up here I'd take my Fibonacci tool and I would adjust it and I would say if it pulls down on top to 104 you know if it done that if it does this so right now price is setting at one, 121 and a half if it pulls down to 96 cents I'll buy you know why is that because I think other people will buy on top of this 100 number well you know I think people said if we break 100 I'll buy you know um, yeah but yeah this is a new high compared to this high this is a impulse leg because it breaks these highs so this resistance should turn support we look yeah yeah I'm really interested to see what this one's going to do I don't think people are selling their doge I think a lot of people involved in this are shooting for some type of long term investment you know Maybe not. Maybe not, but maybe not. But I think a lot of people are shooting for way up here. And like Sixty-nine cents. I think that's what I heard someone say they were looking for. You know, you hear all kind of stuff. This could be a loser here. Yeah, I don't know. But you get the hint. Like, here's an impulse leg, here's a pullback. You know, I thought we would get a double bottom right here. But now we've broke below. This might become resistance. Like, you know, we're just watching it. Hey, but hey, if we get back on top of it, maybe it'll be support. As long as we stop loss to down here somewhere. Hmm.
here's a high if price breaks it then we get to pull back then we can look for a retest of the high then we can look for extensions higher Now we've got a higher high compared to this high. If we pull back to here, then we can look for here. Just to guess. It's been real and it's been fun on this one. I hope to see big things. I think we hold 40 maybe. No, we hold 39. A little over 39. You know, is this a loser? Maybe. One of these are going to be losers. Don't go all in on this because these are losers. Maybe. I was sure hoping we'd break here. But we didn't. Somebody asked me what I thought I was going to do. I don't know, man. I was back here. I was back here. So, yeah. If price done this, then we buy here. Then, you know, I was like 36 cents. You know? Now we've pushed higher. We've even trended right here. Bunch of scribbles. It's always a guess. Yeah. So maybe. Oh wow, this one right here has took off, maybe. Oh baby. We got a little of this. We got a little of this now. If this right here, man. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. We just need this to hit $20 million. That way we give everybody one. No, but hey, if it does, if it hits, if it hits five dollars, you know we've done good. You know, I think this is gonna be support if we ever break it. You know, if you could stop selling at forty cents, I'd be grateful. But yeah. Maybe we just, I'm not, we're, maybe we just keep going. And everybody's like, oh, do you see DNT? It's at $3. Oh man, do you see DNT? It's like 20 bucks a share. This was a crazy one. This was a crazy one. Golly. 
So yeah. As we was here. As we was here. And he somebody just my brother, he asked me, he's like, What do you think of this? And he done bought in. He was like, What do you think of this? I was like, man, we pushed up. We pushed up. We should. Here's our impulse, right? If we pull back to here, thirty-three dollars, like, should be gravy. You know, well, picked up a few here, thirty-five, four. Did well. Did really, really well. So yeah, man, this is just crazy now. What do you do? I mean, I'm not telling anybody to do nothing here, but like, if it does this, you know, I can't. I don't know how to draw a chart. I don't know. I would look for something like this. I would say if we break this and we put an impulse leg, then we do this and we hit here, then I would look for this. I don't know. You know? Just a guess. So, just so I'm not. Here's my markup on Reddit. This is where I said 3.30. Somewhere up there. Yeah, commercial werewolf, you can hit me up. I'm gonna share my Telegram channel right here. Maybe somewhere. But, yeah, so I think that's enough. Like, you know, it's just, I think that's, I think we've about covered everything. So, this is uh, not financial advice. This is my very first, very first, um, not stream but recording deal make sure you make sure you do the thingies like subscribe and uh, yeah so that's about all I got if I can just yeah figure out if I could figure out more of this, I'd be I'd figure out how to stream better. But yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's been fun. But yeah, that's my outlook on those.